you are storing up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of God. You're not getting away with anything. No act of fornication, no act of adultery, no sin in the mind, no sin in the behavior, no sin with the lips, no lie, no deception, no cheating. You're not going to get away with any of it. You're just accumulating iniquities, all of which will be confronted and judged. You are storing up wrath. People get so used to sinning without consequences that when you introduce the idea that they will pay in full forever for every sin, that is just alien to their thinking. That is a very difficult thing to convince people about who are so used to sinning. We need to tell people that every unforgiven sin, every sin committed by every person who rejects Jesus Christ will be justly punished by God forever in a place called hell. The Bible speaks of hell in very specific words, agony, banishment, brimstone, curse, darkness, deprivation, destruction, distress, fire, teeth grinding, guilt, hopelessness, loneliness, pain, suffering, pressure, prison, punishment, ruin, separation, shame, contempt, smoke, sulfur, torment, trouble, trash heap, weeping, all forever. There are many roads to hell, many roads to hell. In one sense, every sinner goes there on the road of his own sinful choices. Many roads to hell, any sin, every sin creates a road that arrives at hell. You can go on the road of pride, or you can go as a pedophile. You can go as a self-righteous religious leader, or you can go as an aide to Adolf Hitler. Many, many roads to hell. On the other hand, there's only one way to escape hell. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. First Thessalonians 1.10 says, Jesus rescues us from the wrath to come. From the wrath to come.